This is the situation in Malandu village, Bukara sub-county in Wududa district. The rain that started yesterday caused the river to overflow and around 2 p.m. swept away more than 90 houses. At least 17 people have been confirmed dead. Just about three hours from the incidents, 17 bodies have been recovered so far. And we expect more bodies to be recovered. Two, we haven't estimated the number of the, 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 those who are missing because very many houses were swept down. So we are yet still assessing to know exactly how many were the houses which were swept down. And then from that basis, we could also be able to maybe estimate how many could be living in each and every house. But to me, according to what I have assessed, from one centre, which has lost almost 20 houses, I can say, not with authority, but also assess and give an estimate of about 100 houses could have been lost in this calamity. As we talk, more property has been destroyed. We can't establish the number of people who are dead because being a, a market day in Naposhi, we can't establish the number of people who are dead. There are those who are from Manafa, we are just picking them from the waters. There are those who are from Sirongo, the traders who are there in the same center. So we can't establish the number of people who are dead. All the bridges have gone, roads have been cut off, there's a school which, was, which has been taken, all the number of students which, which we can't establish at the moment have been also taken, teachers have been washed up. The village residents have joined the rescue efforts to recover more bodies that could be lying on the other side of the river and those that might have been carried further into River Manafa. The water uprooted trees and stones that hit several houses in their path. Residents say some bodies have parts missing. Also crops were destroyed and livestock killed. A number of bridges have been swept away. According to the LC5 chairman Wilson Watila, this is not the first time River Sume has burst its banks, as the same happened in 2008. 